During the summer of 2017, two high school sophomores came up with an idea in pursuit of making a difference in the lives of others. This idea became the Blossom Together Association. It was an idea that became a possibility that designed an objective that produced a reality. The team worked throughout the year with unwavering focus, diligence, and sheer will in order to reach their goals and make their dreams a reality. With hopes of gaining attention and support for the humanitarian cause, the team presented in seminars, dinners, and religious institutions. They held fundraisers at their schools, walked in the blistering cold to hand out flyers, and drove hours away to simply showcase a trifold explaining their project. Their hard work raised over $33,000 for the cause and earned the association the support of Pinnacle Academy, Northern Virginia Community College, the World Bank, and the Rotary Club of Annandale, just to name a few. In the evening of June 3rd, 2018, six students and their principal were departing from Dulles Airport to Ouagadougou. Welcome to Ouagadougou. The Blossom Together Association's first mission in Burkina Faso was the opening of three water wells. Each of the wells were located in three distant villages across the country, to which the team traveled hours over a two-day period. The first water well was dedicated to the late Amdar, Yusuf Bayinblu, whose family funded a well in his name. This well is located in the remote village of Saponi. The villagers gifted the team five live chicken as a token of appreciation for their services, which were then donated to the local school in Ouagadougou. The second water well was dedicated to Amity Halal Meat and Groceries, who funded a well in the name of their business. This well is located in the commune of Kadugu, serving thousands of Burkinabi. The third and final water well was dedicated to the Blossom Together Association and Pinnacle Academy, who founded and led the cause. This well was especially helpful with its placement next to the village hospital, who otherwise had to travel miles for access to water. These water wells are expected to remain in service for decades to come, offering the slightest bit of ease in the modest lives of thousands of Burkinabi. In a land where the value of water outweighs the value of gold, these wells are priceless, offering the beautiful relief of life itself. The second mission of the Young Cause was to purchase, prepare, and distribute 150 care packages filled with rice, oil, sugar, tomato paste, pasta, and traditional macaroni. The team traveled hours once again to distribute these packages in a small village in the city of Baramo. The team worked long hours in the middle of the night in order to prepare all of the packages in time for departure early in the morning. Although it was a messy and tough task, the team's commitment outweighed the obstacle of time. The next morning, the villagers had gathered around in the area for the distribution of the care packages. They offered the team their appreciation with two live goats, which were donated to the local school in Wagadugu. The third goal of the association was to supply the entire village school of Saponi with school uniforms and supplies. This task was accomplished thanks to our partnership with the World Bank of Burkina Faso, who not only helped the association identify the school, but also arranged the preparations of the uniforms. Following the donation of the uniforms, the Burkinabi Entertained Blossom Together team with their singing of their national anthem. This modest act of appreciation was truly very mean meaningful, from which the happiness of the children was easily read from their gleaming eyes and broad smiles.
The last but not least service was in the form of gifting hundreds of stuffed animals to the Burkinabi children in the villages. The little kids shyly approached the team as bags full of the toys were brought, and as the team handed them out one by one, the clear joy the children expressed in their smiles was matched by the fulfilled volunteers. Before the team left the final village, each one of the members were offered the opportunity to speak before the villagers, in which their gratitude was expressed for the country and the people, with a translator for English to French, and then another translator for French to the tribal language, we were all able to communicate to the villagers and let them know how dearly we felt of them. We fed and had a close-up experience with the Burkinabi crocodiles. We drove up the Sindoa peaks of Burkina Faso on four-wheeler ATVs. We scaled the waterfalls of Cascadas de Parafaguela on feet. During their last two days in Burkina Faso, we were welcomed to the United States Embassy, where we were honored with individual certificates from Ambassador Young, a featuring on the Embassy's website and another featuring on the Embassy's Facebook page. We additionally received certificates of gratitude from the Burkinabi Minister of Security, Burkinabi Minister of Education, Country Manager of the World Bank of Burkina Faso, and the Principal of the College of Horizon. The hardships that the team faced, the lessons that they learned, and the experiences that they gained from this journey were priceless in ways that words fail to explain. They began this effort in hopes of making a difference. They ended it, however, knowing that a greater difference was made in their own lives. It was their greatest pleasure to experience the fulfillment of working towards something greater than ourselves. Though our services were complete, we also desire to enjoy the beauties of the country and appreciate the purity and modesty of Burkina Faso.